Jorge Masvidal, Colby Covington. Woo wee. Best friends, training partners, roommates, and now potential foes. Do you see the word on the street is the word on the street is the UFC wants to call an audible. They want to call an audible. They're saying, Jorge, Nate, like we said last week, right? Not right now. Let's go Jorge Colby. How Correct. do you feel about this? What it, boy, I'm telling you, that's the fight. They, they listen that's to the us. Fight. I feel like they that's listen the to us. Do they bro, listen to the us? That, that is the fight, Ariel. That's the fight. Nate's mad okay. at you. Nate's mad at you. Why? Why would Nate be mad at me? He feels Nate like you took any, the fight away from him. Nate could fight anybody, and people are still going to pay attention. Big Nate, you can still fight anybody. Who's he going to fight? You the man, Nate. You can fight anybody. It don't matter who. Who's Leon. he going to fight? Leon. Fight Leon. Nate versus Leon? Well, you Nate just told him, hey, you know, Nate's like, hey, let him fight Leon. Let him fight anybody. I don't care. Nate can fight somebody else. We don't. We need the Covington versus Masvidal fight. That's the one. Man. That's the one. That's the okay. one. It's got everything. It's got, it's a it's a grudge match made in heaven, right? It's a promoter's dream. But is there a part of you, you come out and you say that you're going to do the Masvidal versus Diaz rematch. Do you have to stick to that? Like, is it fair to Nate to call the, no? I mean, you don't have to, you know, I don't think you got to stick to it. I think you can, I mean, essentially you can do whatever fight you want. But hey, Ariel, dare I say, yes, you know, dare. dare I say that you always, dare I say this is bigger and, is. and, and more bad blood than Covington Woodley? I mean, dare I say? Oh, 1,000%. 1,000%. Really imagine how excited we were. I mean, we could not stop saying how it felt like a pay-per-view main event before Woodley versus Covington. Yes. Imagine what this one's going to feel like. This is the fight, bro. That's the Hey, one. Colby Covington's a star. He's a star. He is a, well, he he is a draw and a star. He has not made the leap yet. You know, he, Really? He, you LeBron don't think Colby Covington is a star? I mean, he is in, in MMA. But he, he, Top 10 biggest names in the sport right now? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. But I think Israel Adesanya has made the leap outside of mixed martial arts. He's a star in the Yo, Colby Covington oh, is Colby being is talked too. about. Yes. Colby's getting talked about by KD and all them dudes. Oh, you know what? Oh, maybe I not in the best light, but still, Colby whatever Covington he's doing is, is working because people are tuning in. They're tuning in to either support him or to see him get whooped, but they're mm -hmm. not indifferent, right? The worst thing you oh, can be in, in sports oh. is indifferent, right? Or they as a fighter, care. especially. When people don't care, boy. You're in trouble. They got to love you or hate you. And Colby's hated. You're right, Ariel. Colby's a star. He made it. He is a star. Now, I, I feel for Nate because Nate put out this video on Saturday basically to say, yo, y'all must have forgot. I gave you the shot. You told me you would rematch me. And now you're going off and doing something else. Oh, by the way, when I beat Connor, I gave him the shot. Like, I'm a man of my word. And he's saying to the UFC and I think specifically to Jorge, you're not being a man of your word. Is there something to that? Is there a code there as well? Or does Jorge have to look out for number one and take the fight? I just think that... I think that big Nate is like Nate wants to avenge the loss, especially if, like you said, he wasn't hundred percent healthy in the first match and realized that he can do better. Um, it's a tough one, right? Because I do believe that for the organization and for Jorge, it's a bigger fight. And if Jorge wants to find the most competitive fight based on what happened in the last one, right? Cause that's all we have to go on is what we actually saw. He probably feels like it's more competitive with Covington right now. And and I just, I, I, I don't know if there's a code. I, I mean, I don't know if there's a code because for his, for everything, you know how Nate kind of comes and goes. He is right though, man. He's always kind of just run it back when it's time to run it back. So I could see how he would feel like it's old back to him. Because he could have moved on, right? Imagine if he have just beat Connor at one time and said, I don't want to fight that dude again. I beat him. Like that, he... He never would have given him an opportunity to get it back. So he could have did that. And also he picked Masvidal, right? He could have picked anyone to defend that title, picked him after the Pettis win. So he's upset. But listen to this. This is crazy stuff going on at 170 right now, DC. Because listen to this. So, right. Okay. So they were going to do Masvidal versus Diaz. Mm -hmm. Now they're talking about, all right. They're So they're going to do Masvidal versus Diaz. And then Masvidal Diaz. Now they're doing Masvidal Masvidal's Covington. Covington. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. But now you have a situation where they want to do Hamzat versus Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy says, no, thank you. I don't want Hamzat. They were going to do Hamzat versus Of course he doesn't. Yeah. Of course he doesn't. They were going to do Hamzat versus Damian Maya. Damian Maya is off on the side. We'll talk about him in a quick second. Wonder Boy saying, no, give me Leon Edwards. Leon Edwards is saying, no, give me Hamzat or Colby. Neil Magny is saying, give me Hamzat. There's a whole big mess of a situation here. So can we, let, I, I feel like we need to help the UFC out and everyone out. Right? Like, let's right. figure this out. Okay. Hamzat, 
Who does he fight? All right, here he we go. To fight in December against Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy saying, "Hell no, I want to fight Leon Edwards." Leon Edwards is saying, "I want Kobe." You get, you get what I'm saying? It's a mess. I get it. I get it. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Start from the top. Usman versus Burns. Done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Masvidal versus Covington. Done. You're welcome. <laughs> Leon Edwards versus Neil Magny. You're welcome. Really? Wonder Boy Thompson versus Hamza Chimaev. There okay. you go. You're good. That's, there you go. I'm done. What about, that Nate? what about Nate? That's it, it's that simple. Um, <laughs> what about it, Nate? That's it. There you go. It's, it's good. It's good. Like we're okay. done. So, we're done. Wow. so not only are you taking the Masvidal fight away from Nate, you're also just leaving him on the sidelines. No, no, because, wait, so here, here we go. Oh, right? I, because, I got a fun one. Hey, Nate versus Maya. That could be fun. That could be fun. Um, but how about Nate versus somebody else? You know, <laughs> Nate won't fight. No, here's the problem. Nate Diaz won't fight just anybody, right? It has to be someone with the name. And honestly, a lot of those guys don't even fit it. Like you put him in there with, 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 with Leon, who's, who's still trying to elevate his name. You don't put, you know, you, you need, you need somebody with a name to fight Nate Diaz. Shit, Connor wants to fight. Let him and Nate do the trilogy, right? Why not just do the trilogy? I've, if both I've of them are camping. free. You guys go saying that for years. That's not a bad idea. That, you know that could what? work. Like, why not? That there you go, Nate. I'm not leaving you out, big dog. I'm giving you the biggest fight for you right now. You versus Connor. So once again, here it is. Sean Shelby. Uh, does Sean Shelby do 170 and down? Yeah. Okay, here you go, Sean. I got you, buddy. I got you, <laughs> little buddy. <laughs> Usman say, little? versus Burns. Yeah. Wonder Boy versus Hamzat. Leon versus Magni. Diaz versus McGregor. Now you got five big fights. It's all settled. It and you're good to go. It's not bad. I don't hate right? any of those. I mean, you don't hate any of those fights. I mean, don't. Yo, and I, I spoke to Wonder Boy. He said very, very matter of factly, nope. Nope. You don't want to fight Hamza? Nope. Nobody. Why would you? Who wants to fight Hamza? The uncrowned champion. Hey, Neil Magny's calling him out. Yeah, I think Neil Magny. Uh, I don't know what Neil's Neil, Neil's good, but boy, that Hamzat is something different, man. And you don't want to be in there with Hamzat Chimaev. And, and this is why I say Wonder Boy, right? Let me tell you why I say Wonder Boy. Because he's fought for the belt a few times already, right? Yeah. And, and, and now at this point in his career, he's kind of that guy that can still compete with the best of the best. But if you're able to get past him, you you're completely ready in terms of contender. So when Pettis not really Pettis knocked him out. It showed, wow, Pettis is kind of back. And then when Darren Till was able to beat him, it got Darren Till the title shot, right? So it's like he's one of those guys now where he has to build through beating some of these guys in order to put himself back in the title contention or uh, guys move into the title picture. Man, what, so, so why can't they just say Connor? Okay, forget the Manny Pacquiao thing. Just do Diaz. Diaz Connor. Happy. Yeah, do Diaz Connor. Let's do that. That's what they should have done back in July. Empty yeah, arena. But all this, you put those guys in there. You need a crowd. You need a crowd. Do you? you? Need, we just had we just had you versus Stipe and yeah. we just had Izzy versus Costa. The biggest fights are happening with no crowd. Course, I don't. Mean? By the way, the crowd's great. I don't feel when I watch these shows for a second that I'm like oh, I'm missing out. I don't. I mean, I <laughs> I forget. Do you forget? I do at times. I got to be honest, man. But I don't. Want, we got to be careful though. Because I don't want to crap on the people. Massive part of the fight, right? I it's, know, it's, I know. it's so fun. The energy. It's like nothing you've ever experienced. But um, it has not hurt the product during this time. So you want Hamza to go back to 170? I want Hamza at 170 because I just feel like if he's doing that well at 185, imagine him at his natural weight class. Yeah. That's that's it's scary. It's scary that he's doing his upper weight class and looking this good. Well, it's going to be interesting to see what they do with Colby and Jorge because I heard they wanted to do that fight in December on the pay-per-view card. That would be below Burns and, uh, and, and Usman. Um, so that means a three-round fight. 15 minutes. I kind of want to see those guys 25 minutes, but maybe that's a P I, I don't know. That's because... better for Jorge though. That's exactly. Better for Jorge I was just to say. 15 minute fight because he can kind of go at a higher pace and try to match Covington because you go five rounds with Covington by the end, you're starting to kind of drown. So yeah, better for Jorge if this is a three round fight. Yeah. But uh, my man, Nate, not going to be happy about this. I'll tell you that nah, much. Nate, Nate would be fine if he gets Connor. Nate I think Connor, he really fine. wants that Jorge fight because he feels like it was taken away from him. Mm -hmm. The doctor, unceremonious, you know, all that BMF. He created it. He Isn't promised it. Isn't it kind of crazy that Nate's like 
mad at the doctor for stopping when his hand, his eyes like hanging open. The these the, the Diaz brothers get a cut. BMF. It was even, a BMF title. BMF but I mean, the title. Diaz brothers getting cut. They they act like it's just like it's nothing. Uh, it was they a Fugazi have stoppage. Issue. It was a Fugazi stoppage. Come on. Yeah, yeah. It was, bad. Yeah, it was Fugazi. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.